not to allow the more intelligible types of the other. That's good, very good. Very good. Good level. Good. In 1987, Beckett collaborated on an American television version of his last play, What, Where. He reviewed the evolving production periodically on videotape, and in a departure from his usual camera shyness, allowed these sessions to be taped with a camcorder. The resulting footage provides a rare opportunity to see the playwright at work. The idea was brilliant, to, to uh, work it out, to get him to look at the play and make some sort of final adjustment since those adjustments had to be made anyway for a video uh, production. So that kind of direct uh, input, which was by this time 1987 uh, or so, is really the last theater work that he uh, ever did. So historically, uh, I mean, his work is extraordinarily uh, important. Good. In the end, then up here. Are you free? Yes. Take him away and give him the works until he confesses. What must he confess? That he said what? Is that all? And where? Yeah. And another thing that struck me. You fade the mouth. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And suddenly, uh, at one point, suddenly they're there. Is that deliberate? For example, uh, in the end, uh, the appears and then suddenly there. He doesn't fade up. He's suddenly there. And should he fade up? Well, it should be all fade. I don't know why. Sometimes, sometimes it's fade and sometimes not. Mm -hmm. you, can we look at that yes, and you look can look show me what, what yeah. you mean? Nothing. He didn't say it? No. He didn't say what? No. He didn't say where? Beckett had written What Where in 1983, but almost immediately after it premiered on stage, he began rewriting it for German television. Actually, What Where was written for the theater, but it's, uh, it's much more of a television play as a theater piece. It's, it's very powerful on television, I think. But you originally wrote it for the theater. Yes, sir, yes, yeah. and you saw the actual character go enter and, and uh, leave, you know, mm -hmm. with all the problems of makeup and costume and so on. And, 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 and the, uh, the, we went with this text to Stuttgart mm -hmm. to modify. I, I had modified it. But the work in Stuttgart consisted in getting rid of every superfluity, you know, more and more, until we really got to come to the bare bones of he knew he was dissatisfied with it for, for several reasons, but he didn't have a complete plan for how to work it out. He went over to uh, Germany, to uh, Stuttgart, uh, and worked with his favorite cameraman over there, uh, Jim Lewis, who had worked on numerous productions. And they worked out together how to turn this stage play into a video production. Well, one of the really important things that Sam knew is that the image of uh, the voice out of the past uh, the voice of Bam, which on stage was a sort of hanging megaphone, was completely uh, inappropriate. It, it was confusing anyway. And they settled on this very distorted view, this very distorted image of uh, Bam that Beckett kept calling uh, a death mask. Good. Endlich erscheint Bam. One of the interesting things about Beckett uh, uh, even in his, uh, in approaching his 80th birthday, he was an incurable tinkerer with his own work. The phase both out and in, as far as possible, identical always. You know. The first, the early ones were right, and uh, many of the later ones were right. It was just here and there uh, on the appearance, the entries, not too big or too fast. Mm -hmm. The phase up too fast, yeah. and the, if you could. Uh, Reduce the spectrum down. Good. I am alone. In the present. As were I still. It is winter. Winter. 
without journey.